Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, I received my Nest Hello. Nests take on the video doorbell and will compete directly with the Rings Doorbell Pro. I pre-ordered this last year and they have originally stated the shipping date on February. Mid-January though, they charged my credit card and I was thinking, wow, I just going to get this earlier than expected. But it wasn't. And I have to call customer service which they said they prematurely charged some of people's cards and they will be refunding, which they did. Okay, now on with the unboxing. The camera is a 1 3rd inch 3 megapixel or 2K color sensor with 8 times digital zoom. It is an HD video 1600 by 1200 up to 30 frames per second. It has a 160 degree field of view and with night vision, it has 850 nanometers infrared LEDs. Now, you need to have an existing wired doorbell and chime that runs on a 16 to 24 volts AC and a 10 volt amp transformer. You can connect this camera in either a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. This camera is the same as their outdoor one which records 24-7 and it needs a minimum upload speed of 2 megabits per second. So let's open this up. We have the doorbell camera itself which looks pretty nice. Camera on top and doorbell button on the bottom. It has a pretty good sounding click when you push it. On the back are two screws to connect your doorbell wires. And also it has a micro USB slot. And you will see the speaker holes in the very bottom. So what else is inside the box? We have here some paperwork, or lack thereof. And we have a little sticker. And we have this one page setup guide. Basically all the instructions will be on the app. At the back is what you should expect to find inside the box. Now we have the chime connector, which we will need to install and wire in the chime unit of our existing doorbell. I'm pretty sure it is the same wiring like the Rings Pro power kit. It has a mounting tape so to stick it inside or near the chime. Then we have a small box with a drill bit. A couple of extension wires, a release tool to remove the camera from the wall plate, a couple of screws, plastic anchors, and that's it. Almost the same as the rings, but it doesn't come with the orange screwdriver. Next, we have the wall plate and the angled wedge attachment. The camera will snap into place and to remove it, you will need the release tool. So this is to secure the camera in place. Time to set it up. Let's open up the app or you need to download the app and sign up for an account if you haven't done it yet. Click on the gear icon on the upper right corner and scroll down to the bottom and click add product. Scan the QR code located on the back of the camera.
the app will guide you to set up the doorbell and make sure that the Nest Hello will work with your existing doorbell's voltage. It will forward you to the installation video. It will also tell you that you will need a power drill, a Phillips screwdriver, and the Wi-Fi password. Click Next. And we need to install the Chime connector first. The wires are gray and white and should be an easy install. Turn off the power from the breaker box and go to your existing doorbell or chime unit and take note of the wiring. How many wires are connected to the chime? You can take a picture of the wiring just to make sure and go back to the app and follow the instructions. I have two wires connected, so just by following the app, I easily wired the chime terminals. By the way, this is exactly the same way I have to connect my Ring Pro Power Kit, except that it's a bit bigger and I am not able to put it inside the chime, but have to stick it to the outside. Now, time to install the Nest Hello unit outside. So I have to remove and uninstall my Ring Pro. You already know guys that I'll be doing a comparison video between these two doorbell cameras in the near future. I have no issues with the ring and we'll see if Nest Hello will replace it after the testing. So we have to install the wall mount first and I'm pretty sure I need to drill a hole, at least one hole. I'm going to install the wedge attachment just because it is included and my wall is at an angle. I was still able to see what I wanted to see with my Ring Pro without any wedge, so we will see if there is any difference. Now we just need to screw in the two screws to secure the wall mount. It is ironic that I have to use the Ring's Phillips screwdriver to install the Nest. The Nest didn't come with any screwdriver. Sorry Ring. We then need to screw in the two wires on the back of the nest. It doesn't matter which one goes to which screw. Click it in place on the wall mount and turn on the power. Then go back to the app to finish setting it up. The camera will look for Wi-Fi networks which you will need to select and type in your password. And click next and you should see the live view from the camera. The Nest will be recording 24-7, so every time you open up the app, it will automatically show you the live view. To remove the camera from the wall mount, you will need to use the release tool that was included. There is a small hole on the bottom of the mount that you need to press with the tool so as to release the lock. Now, let's test it out. Can I help you? Yes, I am looking for life hacks here. Uh, well, he's not here right now. Uh, can I take a message? Just tell him that I dropped by. Okay, I'll tell him, buddy. Thank you. Take note of the delay when you hear my doorbell and when Nest notified me on my phone. Can I help you? Yes, I am looking for life hacks here. 
Uh, well, he's not here right now. Uh, can I take a message? Just tell him that I dropped by. Okay, I'll tell him, buddy. Thank you. It was around 10 seconds. But it is hands-free communication and you don't have to press and hold or press the mic again to listen like their outdoor cam. My son and I can hear loud and clear. Now for the settings, I can click the gear icon on the upper right corner. And you can see there's an on and off toggle switch for the camera. And there's a quiet time if you want to turn off your doorbell chime but you will still get notified on your phone. Now there is a home away assist which I think you're not going to use for this doorbell camera anyways. It needs to be on all the time. Same thing with scheduling, but it is there just in case. We have notifications. I use push notification. When to send, always. Activity, people, or you can click all other motion. Also, you can get notified when the camera picks up loud noise. It has the familiar face feature, which you can set the camera to recognize a person, and your notification will be more customized. I had one commenter told me that in certain states, this is illegal, so check your local laws about this. This camera captured all these screenshots of me when I set this up. Then we have visitor announcements. If you have Google Assistants, like the Home Mini, which one came with the camera, you can turn it on so that it will also notify you when your doorbell is pressed. I'll demo it later on. Then we have the Nest Aware, which this camera needs a subscription to store recorded footage. I think the camera will function as a doorbell and still will notify you and view live view footage without the subscription. But if you want to check out recorded footage, then you need to have a subscription which starts at $50 per year per camera. Next, we have quality and bandwidth. The camera adjusts its settings to give you the best quality video for the internet speed you have. Then we have the night vision settings, which you can set to auto, off, and always on. Then camera sharing if you want your footage shared across your family. Then we have the status light, a little green light on top which you can turn on or off. And we have a chime duration option if you have an electric chime. I have a mechanical chime so I don't need to turn this on. Then we have the microphone recording option which I need it to be turned on and also the audio recording. Then we have the spoken language. The doorbell has some pre-recorded messages which I'll show you later on but you can choose which language to use. Then we have the Wi-Fi connection if you want to update or change your Wi-Fi settings. Then we have the location and technical info. At the bottom of the main camera page, you can choose video history which depends on your subscription. I'm on a 30 day trial which gives me 10 days of video history for a month. Then we have the filter if you want to filter the information on the timeline. And we have the mic if you want to turn on two way communication. And a new clip if you want to select share and download footage. Then people for facial recognition feature. Pushing this icon will switch the timeline to show events or push it again to show the sideline. Now there is also the motion zones which can only be set up via your account on their website. Click log into your account, click on the camera you want to set up and click zones on the bottom right corner, click create. Then a dotted square will show up where you can drag the dots to customize the motion zones you want to monitor. Click done to save it.
You can also save footage from the site by clicking clips. You can create a clip or a time lapse. Then you can adjust the shaded blue area to which part of the footage you want to download or share. Then click save when finished. If you want to view the footage, click Clips again and select View Clips. This is where you can play, save, download, and share your footage to social media outlets. Let's check out some sample video and audio footage. Take note that it just records the audio from the camera and not the other person talking on the phone side. Hey, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? All right, that's good. I think you're loud and clear here too. Um, so I guess you're gonna open the door for me, right? Hey, bud. All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Here is a sample footage of night vision mode. It is pretty decent, but I have to cover the infrared LEDs of my other camera that faces the door because it causes glare. Even covered, you will still see it glowing behind me. I always have my porch light on at night, and if the night vision is set up in auto mode, my light is not bright enough to turn night vision off. But this is what it looks like when the night vision is turned off from the app and my porch light is on. It does a pretty good job in full color as long as there is light. If you turn on visitors announcement on the app and if you set up your nest with your Google Assistant, this is what it can do. Lifehackster is at the My New Camera. And this is your notification on your phone. Lastly, the camera has pre-recorded messages if you want to use it instead of you answering the doorbell. Hi there. No one can answer the door right now. We'll be notified you stopped by. Just a sec. We'll be right there. Hi there. You can just leave it. Thanks. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to get review videos like this video, comparison videos, long term reviews, and everyday life hacks. Thank you.